everyone welcome back to my channel I hope you guys watched my last video because this video as you can tell by the title is Bahamian culture explained oh, 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 oh. questions about you know what is Bahamas like um, where is it and stuff like that so I'm gonna give you a little bit of background of that uh, make sure you subscribe to this channel like and also turn on your notifications so you're notified when I post another video and um, so basically um, for those who don't know I was actually born and raised in the Bahamas. I haven't been living there for the past four years, but I am still deeply rooted in my culture because my parents and my family and everyone are still back there. So today I'm gonna start off with a little history lesson. So let's start off with where the Bahamas is located. So the Bahamas is located in the Caribbean. It's, it's Northwestern West Indies. It's southeast of Florida, and it's north of Cuba. So that's just to put in perspective where it is on the map. And I'll just show you a photo of that as well. So the Bahamas actually consists of 700 islands and seven, 2,000, sorry, 2,000 keys. So the Bahamas is a chain of islands. Um, but the different islands have different names. For example, that brings me into where I'm from. I'm from the capital, which is Nassau, Bahamas, which is on the island of New Providence. It's the capital of the Bahamas. It's a city. Um, we have a second city called Grand Bahama, Freeport, Bahamas. Um, but for some reason, they're not the capital. I'm not sure why. Never knew. But um, yeah, so Nassau is actually considered to be the smallest island in the Bahamas. I don't know if it is, but it may be. be just because, let me tell you why. Nassau is actually 21 miles long and seven miles wide. Now, compared to the US, now we know that ain't nothing. But for us, travel from east to west, oh, that's a lot. But anyway, um, it's not <clears throat> that big. Um, per se, but yeah. So a little bit of history, let me take a bath a little bit, a um, little history lesson. So we were actually under British ruling for about uh, 325 years. Um, we gained our independence from under the British in July, on July 10th, 1973, which um, is our Independence Day. Um, that's when we became independent. Um, we took on a lot of things from the British, like currently we drive on the left side of the road, um, the way we speak. We're also a part of the Commonwealth of Nations and we are a, democrat we are a democratic country for the people, by the people. That's what our saying is. Um, and we also elect a prime minister not a president a prime minister so that's a little you know history background on you know who we are so i'm gonna give you a little lesson so i'm gonna give you a little um i'm gonna give y'all the representation behind our beautiful flag here so this is the this is our national flag this is our flag it's a little crinkled up, but yeah. this is our flag. So I'm gonna give you what these colors mean 
Okay, so the two blues here, well they're not blues, aquamarine, sorry. These two aquamarines represent the water, our beautiful crystal waters. Now if anybody says the Bahamas are like, oh my gosh, your waters are so beautiful, they're right. Like, they are gorgeous. Like, our waters are gorgeous. Um, the gold, you may say yellow, but we call it gold. So you have aquamarine, gold. Gold represents the sun. It represents our beautiful hot sun. Very, very hot. Hot. Hot sun. And then, of course, the black represents, what do you think? It represents our beautiful black people. So, um, yeah, that's the representation behind our flag. Um, we have, you know, other colored people that live in the Bahamas, but majority is definitely black. So, um, yeah. So, fun fact. Do you want to know what our national, like, bird is? So, our national bird is actually the flamingo. A lot of people don't know that. But it is. It's actually the flamingo. And then our national fish is the blue marlin. flower is the yellow elder. And our national tree is the lignum bite. Wow! I can't believe I remember all of this. But anyway, yeah, so that's um, a little fun fact for you guys. To so the big question I get all the time, especially from my previous video, Bohemian Slang, um, a lot of people ask, do you guys speak English? Well, duh. <laughs> I'm just playing. But no, yeah, we do speak English. It's just a mixture of different things. So we have, we have Queen's Diction, African Influence, and we also have our own island dialect. So, you know, we we pronounce words differently. We drop certain letters off of words. We don't complete sentences. So, yeah, that's how we talk. Um, as you can tell in my previous video, which I will also link to this video, so you guys can watch that um, to know a little bit of the words that we say and what they mean. But, um, yeah. So that's that. So another major part of our culture is actually um, music. Now a lot of people don't know the music of the Bahamas. Um, they confuse it with reggae and soca and all this other stuff. It's, it's not our music. But we do fall into that category because we're in the Caribbean and we do listen to those type of music. but music that originated from Bahamas is what I'm talking about. So first of all, our, our not traditional music is called gombe. So gombe is the beat of a goat skin drum. Now if you don't know what a goat skin drum is, I'm going to show you. So that's a goat skin drum, and it's basically a barrel with goat skin on it. So I, I kind of know how they make it, but I'm not going to say it because I'm not going to say it right. But if you'd like to know, I would also leave a link below to show you how they actually make goat skin drums. Um, in my description, you'll see a link to, to that. So that's our traditional music. Now we have our own genre of music. It's called Rake and Scrape. It's native to the Bahamas. Um, it's nowhere else. Um, but it's called Rake and Scrape. So Rake and Scrape is actually a combination of these instruments. So they use the, um, the accordion. They take a saw um, and then the goatskin drum once again. So that's Rake and Scrape. But of course nowadays we've added more 
instruments to rake and scrape to make a bigger sound. So that's that's how that came about. And I'm gonna give you a short clip of what it sounds like and looks like. We just recently started having carnival ourselves simply because soca is in our native music it's not ours it's trinidad and you know barbados is, is that's theirs but we also share in that culture somehow some way like i said we're all in the caribbean so the west indies so we kind of feed off of each other so um with that being said we actually started having our own carnival about two, three years ago, and it's been pretty good, pretty successful, and it's very nice. But our parade that we have all, just about all year round at different parts and different points in the year is called Junkanoo. So it's a parade where Bahamians dance in the streets in these lightly, brightly colored costumes. You know, we dance in the streets, we call it Russian. We rush to the beat of the ghost skin drum, the sounds of horns. When I say horns, I mean like trumpets, trombones, um, you know, tubas. Uh, then we have, you know, cowbells, and then we have whistles, and then we have additional, you know, instruments as well that we put in junk in it. So the difference between that and carnival is carnival, it's either a live performance by an artist or it's, you know, a DJ. With junk canoe, you have no artists and no DJ. It's literally live music being made. And I'm gonna give you a clip of what that looks like. culture but I just wanted to give you guys a little brief introduction of what it's like um, yeah so I hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you subscribe like the video make sure you hit that bell so you get notifications when I post another video